All right, I'm very excited. I, I, as one of the preeminent channels on Twitch that uh, sets up casinos for animals uh, fighting, not in real life, but in Super Auto Pets, I figured we had to check out Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Now, I know you're probably looking at this screen right here where um, a, a King Kong with ballistas on his shoulders and missile launchers, shields on his thighs, and Wolverine claws is fighting a T-Rex with spider legs on his back. And you, you might find yourself being like a little bit... Mm, let's just say you're not completely sold on it. All I'm going to say right now, like, let me, let me go to Steam for you. Let me set the stage. Steam... Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Because this is what caught my eye. All reviews overwhelmingly positive. 96%. Recent reviews very positive. 93%. So we got to give it a try. And I think that once we get uh, the our, our head wrapped around the mechanics, we can start to do some channel points betting. Set up some... Like, who would you bet on in this situation? I got to be honest. I don't see a reason not to bet on King Kong. I mean, he's got a surface-to-air missile launcher mounted to his right oblique. He's got two ballistas. He's got adamantium claws. He's pogging. Don't forget about the, the devil horns as well. Anyway, let's start with the tutorial. Yeah, sure. Let's do sandbox basics. I don't think this is what I need. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> it's so me to click on the tutorial and then immediately be like ah, I don't think we need this I haven't even seen anything yet but my brain is like I don't need this come on click on the unit groups to open the unit groups menu okay you can choose different groups of animals weapons buildings and landscape items all right you can create weaponized animals by attaching various weapons once you've selected it what the heck is angry Joe did you pay a licensing fee to get him in this game Bold Billy, FPS Avatar, Crossbow and Echo, Commander Bow. Click on one of the angry, click on one of the unit icons, place them on the map. Modify properties of them, okay? Click on the J key to see the properties of the animals. I was right, I actually don't need this. Um, I don't know, let's, let's go to the, oh, there's another tutorial in the campaign. Okay, even better, I'm ready. I'm prepared. Click on the start button to begin the battle. Left mouse click on the gorilla to select it. Right click on the flag to make the gorilla walk towards it. Click on the escape key to exit the battle. You cannot create new animals on this map and do not click on the clear button. Okay. I'm gonna right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna left click on the gorilla. I'm gonna right click on the, the flag. If you double right click, he moves faster. Look at the run animation, holy cow. Do not click clear. No, because I've made some like bad programs in my life. You got to respect the user manual. You know, they, they might have a bug where like clicking clear means that like the game just stops functioning. So I'm not going to attempt fate there. Why would I? Select these fine looking men. One man will struggle to move past a heavy wood plank, but together they should be able to make their way to the flag. Okay. No problem. You can go a little faster than that. I do wish I could zoom in. Look, it's Fall Guys. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. This is also how I play like StarCraft 2. They're schmoovin'. Why the Family Guy font? That's the, the one question I wanna ask the devs. All these poor dinosaurs are blind and immobile. Select all your archers and right-click on the dinosaurs to shoot them down. Hold the middle mouse button to activate slow motion. Holy cow. We got one? Did you, That was like 20 headshots simultaneously. Not scared. And finally, the big boy, the T-Rex. Did you know 80% of his uh, brain matter is dedicated to his sense of smell? It's incredible. Yeah, I, wait a minute. I thought they were immobile. <laughs> Use the keys to move the camera. Hold the space bar to accelerate the camera. Who the hell writes QWEASD? Click on tab to allow camera rotation with the mouse. 
There's a little piggy hidden in one of these buildings. Find it and instruct your rocket man to destroy it. Look at this. Some of the, the, the best camera controls in the game. Nope. Oh, what the hell? Nope. Nope. This is the... I swear to God, this is the one I was thinking that it would be in. You, you'll, you won't believe me, and that's fine. You know, if anything, you, like, shouldn't believe me. But genuinely, I was thinking back right. Okay, go ahead. Destroy it. It's making me queasy. Don't, I, I'll, I'll figure this camera out. Don't even worry about it. Look at that. How's that? Look at this. A sense of urgency. Why is he walking like the Terminator? Why does this look so much like PUBG? Can you shoot it with the rocket launcher? So instruct your rocket man to destroy it. Oh, you have to click on the pig! I can do this. You gotta rotate the camera. Then you gotta move the camera. Then you gotta click on the pig. Oh my god. He, he instantly went sicko mode. Did you see that? You lost? What are you talking about? How? <laughs> Maybe he was too close? Because he died? Well, it honestly sounds like his fault. He walked backwards to get out of the range. Oh my god! Okay, we won. Too easy. Tutorial number five. Camera control is going to use a little work, but that's okay. I, you know, if Orson Welles could do it back in the 30s, I can do it now in the 2020s. Click on the button to create animals. Use mouse scroll wheel to change the orientation of the animals. You have a budget of $1,000. Okay. That's fine. So, get me low for a second here. Let's see what we're going up against. Let's size them up. I believe we have 10 angry dudes with Alexa baseball bats. I'm not that scared. What do we, we have a thousand dollars we can spend and we can have 25 units. Okay. What wins here? I mean, I gotta feel like, um, I mean, one Spartan would be in a pretty good spot. Is that we can only buy ancient humans or, uh, or modern humans. There's no way that uh, 25 Spartans loses this. I would be flabbergasted. I would also like to figure out how to place... There we go. Okay, you know what? I'm even going to be a little silly with it. I think 10 Spartans can get the job done here. Even though we have so much more of a budget, I'm not even sweating this, okay? Okay. Now, how do I stop buying? Right-click. Escape. Start. Just click the Start button. Why not just put Zoom on mouse wheel? That's my only concern here. Come on, man. No, no shot! No shot! Finish. I'm ready for the tutorial to end once we get here so that we can get to... We can get to answering our... our Rooster Teeth questions. Could Goku beat Superman in a fight? Who would win in a fight? Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman or Emma Stone from Easy A? Okay, we have an FPS avatar. Left click on it and press F to take control. Collect the handgun and the ammunition to shoot the two men with baseball bats. Easy mode. I've been playing so much Fortnite, you're, you're actually done. Owned. Victory. He's cracked. You see that recoil? This thing's a damn laser beam. I, I do honestly believe that I will probably um, never uh, interact with this system. But that's fine. We might as well take it up, uh, an opportunity to give it a try. I have, I have made it. You know, it's always worth going through the tutorial. The stuff you don't think you're going to need can, can prove to be vital. 
You can destroy the tower with the grenade launcher. Don't have to tell me twice. So true. Okay, but how do I click on the flag without shooting my gun? Okay, this <laughs> salt. I was worried I was gonna blow myself up. It's Minecraft meets Fortnite meets PUBG. Go to the enemy spawner to disable it, then kill them all. You can change weapons with the scroll. Okay. Man, I mean, it's got so many different mechanics. Obviously, that's the ticket. Oh, no. What? Did you see that shot, though? Yo, get this. It's, it's disabled. I never had a choice. 30 to 50 feral hogs. It's just that simple. It, it is kind of like Serious Sam. You're not wrong. Now, how do I click on the finish button? I want my achievement. My mouse is locked to the... Is locked to the screen. Alt. Me versus UI. F, F, thank you, F, huge save. That should have covered that in the tutorial. Okay, dude, forget about this. We're going straight into the sandbox. Let's get a casino running here, okay? We're gonna set up a, a very easy bet that we can reuse, and the bet is gonna look like this. Which side will win, left side or right side, okay? But we're not gonna run it just yet, because I mean, obviously, we don't even have anything on the screen. <laughs> don't go all in yet. You don't even know what it... I could make the right side a T-Rex and the left side like a, a, like a pineapple or something. Probably. Okay. Which side will win the fight? Left side, right side. Submission period, one minute, and I'm ready to go. Okay. Select my units here. Let's, let's start with some simple ones, okay? We got aquatics. We got fantasy animals. We got reptiles. We got infernals, whatever the heck that means. We got modern mammals. Now we're talking... Giant invertebrates, dinosaurs, and then I would love to check out the workshop at some point. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with something uh, simple, okay? The heck is a mutant primate? A scimitarilla? Goro the giant? Wolverilla? Knockout artist? Also, pick a landscape. I'm not going to place individual trees. Come on. I think we should have... Here's a question. What the hell? That just exists in my mind and has for a long time, okay? What would win in a fight? A hippopotamus? Or a rhinoceros? This is one I've always, I've always wanted to ask myself. But how do, how do I know if they're fighting? <laughs> F. Escape. New map. Save as. Upload to Steam. They're on this. Oh, you change. Okay, okay. Clear me. Team two. Oh, my God. We could have six teams. That's not good for channel points betting, though. Okay, let's give the Rhino space to have a potential charge. And let's, let's set a 30-second timer for this. One versus one. Hippo versus Rhino. Who wins? I feel like Rhino, everybody knows, is strong. It's got a horn. It's got leather skin. A hippo is like one of the most underrated animals, though, in terms of its power level, right? Like, I'm, this guy, it has a jaw strength that could actually crack a watermelon in half. Not in the water, though. Yeah, I don't know how to create that, so we're just going to have to send it. Can you believe this? We have, we have 51 49 in favor of the hippo. Start it up. Start it up, baby. They're going at it. It's brutal. It's brutal. There's a lot of... It, it kind of looks like Dark Souls PvP, but I think the rhino's getting the better of it as a result of the horn right now. 
We have, the Rhino's using its superior speed to stay in a position where the Hippo can't do damage, but now the Hippo's got him in his jaws, and now they're back to classic and Orlando PvP. And now the Hippo has retreated, and I've got to feel like this is probably bad news. And they're they're locked in the uh, they're locked in a spin again, and the Rhino wins. Okay, as soon as you start to run, you know it's over. All right, pay pay out the Rhinos. Look at he's strutting on top of it. That's it's embarrassing. Now here's the ultimate next question. Okay, what if you added? And just give it a second here, okay? What if you added a medieval helmet to the hippo? What do you think? Actually, you know what? Hold on. Delete that. These are armor plates, right? These seem like armor plates to me. What if... You add some armor plates to the side of the rhino where it was taking the most damage. Help. Help me. I would like to... How do I turn around? Oh, tab. There you go. And then make sure you got this pointing upwards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Move me back. Now, the Rhino won last time. We have immediately made, we've leveled up. This is how evolution works. Trust me, I have an undergraduate degree in biology. This is how evolution works, okay? The hippo got torn up by the Rhino's horn on the side. Now it has armor plating. The Rhino exists just as it is right now. Hard times make strong hippos. Strong hippos make good times. Good times make weak hippos. Weak hippos make hard times. Where are we at on the curve right now? Interesting. It seems like we have more people betting on the rhino again. In spite of the armor plating. I don't know if I agree. I don't know if I disagree. But here we go. We're sending it. Look at this. The hip. He just looks happy to be here. I don't see... Oh, whoa! He's got his snout in the, in his jaws. The, the amount of blood is actually very surprising. I got to feel like that's hurting the hippo's soft palate, though. Holy cow. You think he just tried to bite his head off. And now they're, they're back in this old song and dance again. I got to admit, the rhino got his horn under the armor plating. I didn't see that coming. We're right back into it. I don't know. I see. There's more blood coming out of the hippo yet again. It's a close battle. I kind of like that we can't see their HP. You just gotta. It's like a boxing match. You gotta go based on the damage you've seen them sustain. Oh, 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 oh baby, salty bet. And he's strutting. The armor plating actually made it. Believers. Okay, now, I don't know how many uh, Hippo versus Rhino duels we're going to do here, by the way. But I definitely feel like the next step is giving the Rhino uh, like a Crusader's helmet. So that is not so susceptible to uh, being bitten on the snout. I don't know if that one's going to do it. See, it's tough because we need him to also be able <laughs> to bite. Um, there's probably a way to do this, man. Just give it a sec. It's, you know, it's not a science. It's more like an art. So now you got a helmet. I got to feel like they're pretty evenly matched again. But I, because in, in this situation, I really think that last one was pretty close. I think the next thing that we should do is we should give the hippo like some just kind of absurd wild card. Something that we don't even know whether it, it could have, it could make a difference. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you right out of the gate, first step, sunglasses, that's a gimme. If I could just get those, that pretty much looks perfect. 
<laughs> okay, never mind. Hold on. E? E. Some, e. You know, if that's as good as it can get, then that's as good as it can get. And I, I feel like, you know, a, a hat is probably fine as well. You know what? You won the last fight. Guess what? If a hippo wore a crown, do you think it would wear it like this or like this or like this or something like that? Um, you should use low anchor point. I could have told you that, obviously. You got to use low anchor point for that. And Oh, undo. Thank you. The Drippo. So true. And then we got, we got to give him something. Not much, but like just give him... I mean, I don't really want to give him a gun. That seems a little unfair. But let's throw some... Throw something in the mix, okay? Like, what if there was... What if there was just a, a few barrels scattered throughout the arena? Like, what, what if we set it up so it was kind of like... You know, the, it, it's harder to, like, circle... Let's just create, like, an uneven arena, okay? Maybe they crash right through the barrels. Maybe they try to fight in the center of the arena. I don't know. This does not look right. But, you know, I'm, I'm all about getting that like minimum viable product out as soon as possible. You've seen my YouTube channel. Not really uh, all about trying to make sure that uh, it's like the most well-balanced map of all time. And nobody's b placed a bet yet, so there you go, okay? Let's, let's start it. We got a hippo with a crown and sunglasses. The arena has changed, and the Rhino now has a helmet. I don't know how this is going to look. I don't know what they're going to do. F, how do I get this barrel unselected? This placement is nothing short of mad. Jay, you've never seen maybe my Planet Coaster parks. I'm telling you, it's... Um, this is nothing, man. Wait until you see like a forest that's all equally spaced trees, exactly identical and rotated in the exact same way. That's my design philosophy. I'm, I'm very utilitarian. Okay, start me. Here we go. The barrels are already falling over. The rhino's charging straight through. I don't know. This right now it seems kind of even. I think he got a good strike on it, but the hippo's lifting the rhino up, using his powerful jaws to remove its ability to control its own locomotion. Nobody's taking any damage though. Maybe the crown can start to do a little bit. I don't know. He's just—he's it's sumo wrestling. He's pushing him out of the map. Oh, okay. No, oh no. Oh, this seems extremely bad for the hippo. You, uh, a, a little tail strike. Oh my god, it was a lethal shot. That is also straight out of Dark Souls. He attacked his weak point for massive damage. All the armor flew off of him. Holy cow. Right side wins. Okay, you know what happens when right side wins? We then mix it up. We give a little advantage to the left side. So here's what I'm thinking. What if you add on top of this... Give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a moment here. Modern mammals. I mean, those are all pretty, pretty big animals. They could make a big difference here. If you had a salmon. <laughs> I'm looking for something that could have a difference or could not have a difference, right? That's, that's the thing. Like, I think if we add Ogre Lord or a Lava Golem... It'll probably, um, that would probably tip the balance a little too much in favor. But I almost feel like, what if you just added, like, um, what if you just added, like, a guy? What if you just added a, a guy with an umbrella to the team, you know? I'm willing to just run it on this one. 
that's actually worse than having nothing? Well, you don't know that. Um, because this could draw aggro from the rhino, and then the rhino um, could get hit by the hippo as a result of that. We'll start it up. I'm ready. He's not moving. He doesn't attack. He, in fact, he's running away. I guess that's why he's called Coward Cole. Alright, well, so far this looks very familiar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, like, it looks extremely familiar. I think that we're probably gonna end up paying out the, uh, the Rhino side on this one. Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, you know what? You never know what's gonna happen when the Rhino has to kill Coward Cole to finish the fight, okay? Maybe he's like, he's calling 911 right now. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> okay. Um, well, you're right, that is worse than nothing, I think. He just killed him. Okay, Coward Cole, get out of there. You're not doing anything. What about, I mean, Bold Billy, I think we, we realize we need more. So now I'm going to add two Angry Joes with bats flanking the Rhino. I'm going to start the prediction immediately. Two Angry Josephs. I'm running the casino and I'm ready to go. Please, please. <laughs> no difference. These guys have bats. We're sending it. Bring it in. Okay. One angry Joe can't seem to get past the barrel. Look at that. He, he landed us. One good hit. Oh, dude, they're going off. The rhino doesn't know what's hitting it. They're not really drawing too much blood, but maybe like some blunt force trauma. They definitely appear to be ta attacking the helmet, unfortunately, but you know what? That's necessity's the mother of invention. This could they're back up! I thought they were dead. Okay, one's down. Honestly. Are you seeing the shots he's landing though? Like they're Yo! Oh! He he took his helmet as a trophy. Holy cow. Angry Joe, he's kind of goaded with the bat, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> I am doing the best at this. I'm getting cleaned out, man. Okay. So now, two Angry Joes and a Hippo is a gimme, you know? We know that the, the Hippo team is winning this one. So we got to add something to Team 2. Team 2 has a $16... Uh, deficiency right now. So we could add uh, two Angry Joes of their own. We could add one slow-mo with a shotgun. I don't think so. I think you need another animal on your team. What happens if we just add one anaconda? I like this. That's the head of the anaconda, right? I like this because it it's like a complete, it's not brute force. This one might be a little sneaky boy, you know? Oh, look at that. And now the teams have roughly equivalent values. It's a hired assassin. Which side will win the fight? Can you please drip the anaconda? I can try. I can try. Let me, let me look in here. Okay, you need to get dripped out. I mean, the only drip I'm aware of right now is sunglasses, but I guess it could have, like, some flames. Or, you know what? What about glowing eyes? Um, that's too much. <laughs> that's so, it's the brightest thing I've ever seen in my life. How about, um, flames? Motion triggered flames. I mean, if you got blue flames coming out of the back of your snake, you know he's moving quick. Let's put that right on the tail. I mean, that's like particle effect drip. I don't think I'm going to give you a feather. A hat, though, sure. What about a snake just wearing a baseball hat, man? Nope, that's way too big. What about one of the. Dude, Sherlock Snake? Snake Lock Holmes?
it's all off balance and stuff, man. I don't think I can give it a, 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 I don't think I can give it any of this. Honestly, it's just not built for it. Give Joe his helmet. What are you talking about? They just won. You don't get buffed on a win. Okay. We, we, we ran the casino. All right. We're ready to go. Three, two, one. Send it. I'm interested to see how this snake works. Look at him. He's zooming. <laughs> oh my God. It's the fastest thing I've ever seen. He's the fastest kid alive. He goes through the barrels. Well, okay. Oh, here we go. A little flanking attack from the anaconda. Remember, anacondas, I don't think they're much of uh, biters. They're more of like a strangular. Okay, look at that. He drew some blood. He's actually a, 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 a biter for sure. The rhino has managed to divide and conquer. One angry Joseph has been downed, and he's done. He let go of the bat. That's how you know it's over. The hippo's running away. One angry Joseph still lives. He got mauled in a way that was almost brutal to watch. Now we got Coward Hippo versus Anaconda and Rhino. The Hippos hit an invisible wall. The Rhino's got a full charge. It's, o it's over. That wasn't even close, man. Holy cow. You don't let that Rhino get that kind of space. Because if he gets up a full head of steam, you're getting Marshawn lynched. Okay. Snake did nothing? Excuse me, it scared the hippo. Now. Give me glasses. Alt scales them. Okay. That's great to know. I'm going to give him the red sport sunglasses. These alt to scale. If a snake wore glasses, would it... Where I'm like this or like this. Like this. Hold on, it's it's almost working. Future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Yo, dude. Kind of sick with it. Am I wrong? I think he's looking kind of sick with it. Okay. Now that round was like, that was not even close. I don't know if he's going to be able to move that well, but we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. Um, that round was not even close. The hippo needs some help. I think maybe it's time we start to talk about adding some, some weapons to the equation, okay? We don't need to go all out. We don't need to give him a machine gun. You know what? What if we just gave him uh a... I'm not going to give him a horn. That's like, it's too easy. Okay, hear me out here. What about... A humanoid torso. Just give this a second, okay? I have to think about... I have to be a little creative. It's not really my strong suit. What about a humanoid torso? And then... A water buffalo head? And I don't even know if this will work for the record, which is why it's going to be fun. And then let's give him two punchers. <laughs> let's give him two bone punchers. How, do, how does that sound? Hold on, scale those things. I don't, I don't want him to have freaking huge arms, man. You could just have like, like, let's give him like one arm that's smaller than the other, but... Yeah, yeah, like one of those. Okay, so we created like a little quay log here. I don't even know if this thing's gonna work. Like, I don't know if it's gonna punch or if these are like just inanimate objects or, or whatever, but I think it's worth giving him a try anyway. He's leaning too. All right. So just in case you're interested in placing your bet here, um, left team got destroyed last time. This time, we've added, uh, like, a, a, min <laughs> a minotaur 
with one large skeletal arm and one small skeletal arm. Um, team one has $73 value. Team two has $37 value. All right, let's send it. I just, I gotta see it work. Okay, he is trying to punch. You can definitely see he's trying. I don't know if he's going to be able to reach anything. I don't know if any damage is going to... Oh, but Angry Joe! He's going in on the on the Anaconda. Okay, we still got a bit of a fight here. I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking the Rhino and the Anaconda have the upper, uh, the upper hand here. I don't know, though. Wait, anytime you get locked in a circle like this, it's kind of anybody's game. The Anaconda, it, it just did the... Uh, it it hothed its own Rhino. It attached the tow cable to the Rhino. Now we're one-on-one. -on -one. It tangled up the Rhino. And look, he's landing some. Look at this. He, he hit him right in the snout. Oh, my God. I actually don't believe it. Look at that strut, man. Okay, we got a couple things to do here. First, that we pay out left side. Then, now that I know how to fix your glasses, we're going to fix your glasses, okay? I can do this. I know how, I know how this works now. I've mastered the character creator. Pay me? Oh, sorry. It, it asked me if I was sure, and I haven't hit the button yet. Just give me a second here. Just give, just give me one second. I promise. I got you. Your points are safe. Perfect. Complete prediction. Left side wins. Maybe they're a little big, but that's okay. All right. Now... I mean, you're doing great, as is. I'm not changing you. You, we got $40 on the line to still keep this as a fair fight, right? We have $36. Let me think about this for a minute. What about an animal base? Hear me out here. Giraffe base. Now that's pretty OP. Very, very tall. Torsos. PUBG default female torso. Perfect. I should call her. Head of a crocodile. I need to control Z this. And then we got to give you like, we, you need to have limbs, obviously. And I feel like one limb should be like a spear. I don't know if you're ever going to throw it. And then the other limb, should it just be like a thing? You know, can I just, I mean like a, what about like an arm that can't reach anybody? Just, just so you have that kind of symmetry, right? Holy shit. It's on the wrong team. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's on the wrong team. Okay, get deleted. Um, we're going team two. <laughs> It wasn't. 
It's all right. If I'm being honest with you, I wasn't that thrilled with that to begin with. Let's try again. What about a robot base? Holy cow, I didn't even think about this, man. What about a uniwheel? I got to be honest, I kind of love the idea of a, bo a bone torso. And then the head, I mean, if I could get the crocodile to like look down, I would love that. <laughs> Hold on. It's beautiful. It's a little top heavy. You don't know that yet. Scale it down just a, just a pinch. I mean, come on. Yeah, is this how Miyazaki designs his bosses? <laughs> okay. A little smaller, less is more. How about one glowing eye and one normal-ish eye? I feel like one glowing eye is like way more menacing. And then one just standard eye. Can I get you to like, oh. Uh, uh, I get you to just like be looking. Whatever. We'll take it. I mean, that's pretty spooky, right? And then. I mean, this. Well, what's the difference between weapons? Oh, weapons two is like nuts stuff. Weapons one. I kind of like this. You know what? What about one comically large boxing glove? That comes out of right there. I mean, that is actually... Um, it's not TOS, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a glove. There's nothing weird about it, it's just a glove. All right, so who are you betting on here? Two angry Josephs and the Minotaur with one large bone arm, armored hippo, or rhino, anaconda, and whatever you want to call this. Holy cow. Okay, start prediction. Oh, the teams are right. It's just that um, uh, for decoration, it defaults to Team 1. I see. I can't believe Team 2 is actually still cheaper here. Malf, are you seeing this? Look at this guy. This is what I wanted to look like when I was working out powerlifting. I could never achieve it. Now I'm kind of I'm kind of on this aspiration right now, minus the hair. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Send me. I mean, th there's no doubt we're watching this thing. I, d I don't even know if it's gonna function, but we got to give it a chance. Um, I don't think it's really that effective right now. One angry Joseph stuck on a barrel. Holy cow! Did you see the push though? He's stuck. His wheel is stuck between two barrels. He's got you, you got to Austin Powers your way out of there. What a shot. Okay. So he's more of like crowd control. He's he's not Oh, I guess he did just lethal him. Oh my god, it's a headshot. How what's going on over here? The the Rhino has one rip to you Angry Joseph. <laughs> that would be Okay, so he's pretty strong. Turns out this guy's relatively effective, okay? If if Angry Joe had soloed that though, imagine Imagine. All right. Now we got to make this team better. I mean, are we on the, the verge of maybe getting a little silly with it? Yeah. I think we've, we've possibly, you could argue that we've gone too far. On the verge? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Could always press the reset button. I don't think we're there yet, okay? 
I kind of want to make um like a a man with swords for arms. I don't know if we can make that happen. Team one is already like we we've overspent. Let me think. Okay, I'm using I'm using my brain here. Give me. I I want like a humanoid base. Oh, we can do that. Okay, humanoid base. What the heck? In shorts, just because I think that's funny. And you know what? You'll start at the back here. I want a humanoid torso. Something doesn't look right. It's like his butt is connected like too low. He's wearing like low rise hips. And then I want blades coming out of your arms. And sure, why, why shouldn't they be gold? The <laughs> ultimate life form. Okay. He can't even swing them. He could twist his hips, man. His torso's a little misaligned, but that's okay. And then his head needs to show you that there is like... Like there's no humanity. Like there's no mercy coming for you. Like what if we just made his head like an, an empty helmet like this? I got to be honest with you. I think that shit kind of goes hard. <laughs> I love it. Just a, just a tiny little... Oh, okay. Well, I, you know what? I don't like that so much. Just give me a second here. We're going we're gonna to rework this. I think, I think it'll work, but we got to... We got to get it to look right. I thought I saw it for a second there. That seems kind of sick to me. Oh my God, look at what it is it, really accentuating like his, his shoulder muscles too. And then glowing eyes, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it does look, look a little bit like an F1 driver. Okay. And th no, this guy, you got to remember, less is more. You got to just add like a little bit, okay? Just a little bit at a time. I think what you got to do, you got to give this guy motion-triggered flames that come out of the bottom of both of his heels. So that when he's running, he looks like the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Okay, start prediction. The tale of the tape. Whatever the hell you want to call this guy has just been added to Hippo, Too Angry Joseph, Minotaur, Skeletal Puncher. Now keep in mind, this guy was an MVP last game. The boxing glove, it, it's a great uh, distance creator to let the, the helmet rhino do his work. And then honestly, like the anaconda is just kind of like, it's just part of the squad right now. Okay, start me up. I, I got to see what this guy's doing. Holy cow. He's taking hits. He's walking over there menacingly. He looks very cool. He's got a great stride. I was kind of hoping he could like lean in and do some damage. Well, he's tanking a lot of the damage right now. One Angry Joseph is already down. Okay, so this guy's useless. <laughs> what a shot. This is a battle we've never seen before. Oh my god, dude, this gorilla is too strong. I don't like uh, left team's odds on this one. 
But depends on- Oh, he's, he's finally landed some shots with the blades, maybe? Uh, they're walking into each other menacingly. He's neutralized the effect of the boxing glove. He caused him to punch himself in the face. The anaconda's been killed. No, the anaconda is definitely still alive and well. Well, it doesn't look good for the left side. Let's just put it that way. You gotta admit, he's a bit of a monster, though. Like, he's, he's pretty tanky. Okay, right side wins again. Let's not add anything more. Let's just rework this uh, sleep paralysis demon here. So you're not doing anything. <laughs> what if I... Let's get rid of these golden blades, though I love them. So I'm kind of thinking... Like, what if I gave you a puncher? What if I just gave you two swords? That looks about right. Or one sword and one hammer, so you, like, became fully, like, Dark Souls bossed. So wait, a, a, a man's arm is supposed to look? I think we got to take the other arm. This is Godric the Grafted. He should be able to at least land some attacks. I mean, I think you just run it back. I think you start prediction, which side will win this fight. You run it back. That's all you need. We just needed a little tweaking there. We could add more arms, yeah. I, I like the idea of giving him an arm that has like a shield on it or something like that. I have no points remaining. Okay, we'll like click the treasure chest or whatever. Here we go, we're going. I want to see Godric do some work now. Whoa! Okay, he, he goes all in. I, he's toppled the gorilla. The gorilla has fallen down. Its boxing glove has been detached. It's over. Get to the rhino. Oh my god. It's brutal. He's killed the rhino single-handedly. This guy is too good. I don't know if he can land a shot on the anaconda though. Hippo, you wanna come over and do like some helpfulness here? You wanna you wanna help out a little bit? I don't think oh wait, someone's bleeding. I don't know who it is. He's dead. Okay, well. Okay, Godric absolutely overpowered. Left side wins. <laughs> I did build Jonathan. Okay, he's too strong. So, I mean, here's what we do to begin with. Angry Josephs, you've been deleted from the team in the interest of fairness. I'm going to get rid of the snake just because it's no longer like... I mean, it no longer fits the, the theme of what we got going here. <laughs> Now, Team 1 has $147 to its name. Team 2, we could spend $124. I've always wondered what would happen... Animal scaling not recommended. Okay, put me on 1.0 then. What would happen if you had robot legs What the heck am I looking at here? A dinosaur torso? No, 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 no. I mean, I gotta be honest, if you're using like basically humanoid legs, you might as well use like a humanoid torso. Um, these are heads though. Like the humanoid torso is a is a base that I'm familiar with, man. We can do better. Oh, I, I do like the idea of it leaning forward though. Yeah, yeah, because then you can easily add a T-Rex's 
Bonehead. Look, I don't know if this is doing any biting, <laughs> but maybe. And then, of course, it needs some limbs. Maybe some bone spikes. It's not going to fall over. Have some, have some faith, okay? The reason it's not going to fall over is because it's going to have a tail to counterbalance the prodigious size of its head. And then... I mean, why don't we just give it some damn claws? Doesn't look quite right. You've basically just reinvented a T-Rex. Yeah. You've never heard of uh, Convergent Evolution? One, you always need to have one dominant hand. And then I do think wings, I don't know what's going to happen, but I want to add it just because I think it would be funny to see if it starts to fly. What about a pair of golden eagle's wings? Holy cow. I mean, that's just... Those are on backwards, so I'm not sure if that's going to really work. Maybe a little smaller. Like, it's still pretty majestic. They're still on upside down. There we go. So I don't really know how this is going to work out, but... We're going to run it. Now, we, we've made a lot of changes this time, okay? The left side has had uh, its two Angry Josephs deleted. The right side had its anaconda deleted and replaced with a robotic bone T-Rex with angel's wings. But don't forget about the hippo. And the, they're pretty balanced. Like team two, 179. Team one, 147. I'm willing to give it a chance at least. Okay, let's see what this T- Oh my God, he is flying. He, he abused his height advantage to take a bite out of the spine of the hippo immediately. But he's also... He's dead. I don't know what happened. His head fell off. It's just Godric. He's killed the skeleton. Wait, no. Wait, no. The hippo's alive. It's not just Jonathan. Godric beheaded him. Holy cow. Dude, left side. I can't believe, I, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you an underdog. Okay, we're gonna rebuild the squad. I'm sorry to say goodbye to Drippo. It was fun while it lasted. Get out of here. Now this, this is the new bet. Immediately, we pay out left side. We run the bet back. It's one v three. You know, okay, I'm going to get rid of the barrels, but just because they are annoying. I'm not going to change anything else because we've already started the casino, but I got some ideas, okay? I got some ideas. Put wings on a barrel? Come on, this isn't Mario Maker. Start me up. Okay, Jonathan the Grafted. It's The, the odds are stacked against him. He's still landing some good shots with his free hand. He's being swarmed a little bit. Uh, T-Rex took a bite out of his neck. I mean, that was a quick one. <laughs> Go right side on that one. Okay, okay. Finish me. I now have zero points. Yeah, well, check this out. Hold on, check this out. Hold on. I'm going to figure this out.
Didn't we have a... Oh, there it is. Our Jonathan now is going to have some support, okay? He's going to have two towers. And then we're going to put a human being. I guess we have to custom make like our own human in order to get them to use the weapons I want. There's probably, I guess we could just make a prefab and then keep posting it, but what if you just grafted more? I, you know what? That's a, an equally good idea. I think you could just graft more onto Jonathan, but for now, what's your scale? One, okay. Place, I mean, you look, you got to be scaled like at least 1.1 versus a normal human because we need you to be able to see over the tower. Jeans. Humanoid torso. What the heck? Were you the gene lord? You were. Okay. 1.1 scaling. <laughs> just a just a normal head, man. You don't have to get like uh you don't have to get too crazy with it. Zoom in, please. It's harder than you would think to zoom in. Never mind. It's not that bad. Okay, so that's why you probably want like a little bit of a different angle when you're doing this. I like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of that so he can see over. I'm going to start to work on this one again. He's looking a little, a little off. Better, much better. Sure, kind of, more or less, kind of works. And then I want to give him a weapon. I want to give him like a bow and arrow. I mean, I guess I could give him a rocket launcher. Or like, I guess to make him an archer, I could just give him like ballistas for arms, right? Or is it FPS weapons? Not yet. Or not even for arms. I could just put like a... I could just put like a ballista... Hold on. Like for arms. Yeah. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Shoulder mounted ballistas. <laughs> on his head so he's always aiming down sights. Now, right-click me. I just hope he doesn't fall off. Like, I sh can I... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Create prefab. Make sure there is one and only animal on the map when creating a prefab. No? Okay. You know he's going to walk off? Well, okay. You know what? After we finish this, we'll put up a little barrier real quick. Okay, fine. I won't scale them. You don't want me to scale them? Then I won't scale them. Okay, I gotta scale this one just because I used the wrong bottom. But this is the last scaler, okay? Look at that. Dude, it's perfect. I'm just gonna get a little fucked up, though. Why don't I just give you, like, an elephant head? Nah, that looks a little stupid in hindsight. What about like a little, what, I don't even know what this is. Is it a snake head? That looks ridiculous, man. Oh, no, don't, please. She's going to look like the, she's going to look like the Goombas from the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's going to trigger my PTSD. Okay. You needed ballistas large enough to fit the arm hole. This is my design. Beautiful. Okay, that is... I don't know, man. I feel like that's kind of sick with it. I like to think that they're married, too. Now, 
Um, some, some blocks, sure. Yeah, like a gate? Yeah, 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 that'll work. I'm very familiar with this. That should keep you from coming out unless the door's open. You're probably okay. I do it. I believe. Okay, you know what? Start prediction. Which side will win the fight? Ah! That's oh, okay. We have a flying T Rex with golden wings. This guy is on the ground, of course, but he's a force to be reckoned with. And of course, we got Jonathan the Grafted, who, if we lose, is about to get a few extra arms attached to him. There is $390 on Team One. We're ready to start. Send it. Okay, they've immediately jumped off the safety of their towers and died to fall damage. Rip to the 62% of people that bet on belief to bet on left. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I knew it, I knew it. Wait, 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 this time he took out the T-Rex. Okay, he still got killed, but... Choose outcome. Right side wins, man. Okay, we, we can make this, we can make this. We can make it better. Obviously, the gate is not what we're looking for. Fans, that's what it's called. As long as you can still shoot over this, I'm happy. No, there's no way. She's not sneaking by that. He's not sneaking by that. It's just gonna fall. You know what? Okay, start. That's a good point. I'll end this battle. That's, I'm glad we didn't run the casino on that one. Okay. <laughs> If you remove the legs, they can't walk? Yeah, but they'll be so short. And I don't even know if they could sustain themselves. You could replace their legs with something immobile. It seems a little cruel. Get him a chair. <laughs> okay. Just give me a second here. I, I've seen chairs in the game. I don't know where it is. I, I would, to me, I would think that it is... Well, there's animal platform... Look in the bottom left. Not in the menu. Create prefab. When the menu's closed. After selecting the fence. Ah, you just changed this to static. The whole damn fort's got to come down. They want to be free. You know what? I think, oh! I, I think we restart the whole battle. I think we go straight to new map and we, we, we learn with what we've already come up with, okay? We can rebuild them. Don't even worry about that. That was a great iteration. We can start, though. We go again. Now, we can start with the tower. Just don't delete any blocks out of it this time. Small tower. Small tower. Placed relatively far apart. Make the tower static. New map. I can't make it static because it's not a prefab. Or it is a prefab, I should say. A double tower? It's an interesting idea. Okay. Two of these. Let me let me take a look at the workshop for a minute. 
I'm just going to lower this here. I'm going to workshop prefabs. Let me see what's in the Steam Workshop. Maybe I can generate some surprises for you. Workshop. Here we go. I'm, I'm sorting by my own most popular, okay? Godzilla? No, no, no. That's not what I... I want to get a little bit more meme than that, okay? New Godzilla? Rayquaza? Come on. There's 102,000 options here. We can do better than Ray Quaza. There's about a billion Godzillas. That's fine. King Kong theater scene. Okay. I will add... Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. That seems like a gimme to me. I was kind of hoping there would be like more meme options though than just like big dinosaurs. <laughs> There's one that is just a 30 foot tall uh, Jesus Christ. A worthy opponent to Jesus Christ. Or to a worthy opponent to Shaggy. He can fly, has a powerful punch which can shatter bone. Man, the people really like Five Nights at Freddy's, huh? Clover from Cloverfield. I sleep, man. More memes, but less religiously offensive is what I'm looking for, I think. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies 2 Snapdragon. Ronald McDonald? Okay, I'll add Ronald McDonald. That seems like a good one. Sonic the Hedgehog? I wouldn't dare. No, I wouldn't besmirch the, the good name of Sonic the Hedgehog. Aircraft carrier? Sure, let's get the aircraft carrier. They could battle on the aircraft carrier. Dude, that's such a good idea. Chris Rock versus Will Smith. We could finally see what happened if they actually fought. I think this is an Among Us. Man, people really love dinosaurs, huh? Grizzly bear. Add it in. It's a grizzly bear. What more could you want? So true. Kanye West versus Schmidt Davidson incoming. I always wondered who did like those 3D puzzles of dinosaurs that you saw everywhere when I was a kid. Now I know. They're, they're making stuff in this game. Friday Night Funkin' cross Sonic.exe creepypasta monster. You know what? I don't give you permission to execute code on my machine. Is there a way to just search by meme? <laughs> I'm sorting by most popular. I want, I want most ridiculous. I don't want Rodan. I don't want giant dog monster or robo T-Rex. I want like people. I want like human beings. Da baby convertible. <laughs> okay, be careful what you wish for. Let's go. Wait, is this meme relevant anymore? Dat boy? Okay, I'll add dat boy. There's only two pages of memes. There is a Bill Clinton. Okay, let me search for that. Clinton. No, I don't, I don't see it.
Is there Isaac? Joker versus Pennywise. <laughs> Joker. The Joker. Let's go. Pennywise. Yo. From the It film. So true. From the It film. Who else is a meme? Batman? Werewolf, Batman, Bat, but Wolf. Batman the Dark Knight is here. I'll add that one. No doubt about it. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I don't like the, the, the description text says Sticky Child. What the hell am I doing? I'll see if Pete Davidson is in here. No Pete Davidson. Okay. All right. Well, I got to restart the game. No promises that this will... Maybe we've gone too far. You know what? I will... Let me take a look for a second. I do want to see if they have Austin Powers, maybe. No. The number one result for Austin Powers is Rayquaza. Sandbox. Workshop prefabs? There we go. Okay. Why don't you start me on like a, an aircraft carrier? Oh, the aircraft carrier is probably part of it. It's like a fighter. Holy cow. Um, I would like to undo that. I mean, I think you got to start with a classic, okay? Let's put down a, a Pennywise. Pennywise does not work. We've broken the game by, by choosing an aircraft carrier. Pennywise does not work. Oh, it does. It just looks like an aircraft carrier. My bad. <laughs> They're all just triangles. That makes sense. Okay. Pennywise. Let's let's get a tail of the tape going here, okay? Let's take a look at this magnificent bastard. Okay. I can see he's got he's got the clown face. His mouth is on fire. This kind of looks like Pennywise. Sure. I think you did an acceptable job here. He's got the little bone feet. Okay, that's pretty good. And then, I mean, you got to start with the classic, right? You got to do a little Pennywise versus Joker battle. It's finally happening. Many people have been asking for it. That's the Joker, man. He does... I do want to say before we run the casino here, the Joker does have a lightning cannon attached to his... Uh, his chest, they are on the same team. You're not wrong. So just be aware that like this is not a joker that's only gonna use like green smoke. He has he it is it's his flower, you're right. That he squirts people in the face with like poison and stuff like that. Okay. So I mean we run it here. I mean you you can get a little a feel for the size of these units right off the bat. This is definitive as far as I'm concerned. Do they have Morbius in the workshop? My brother in Christ, they don't even have Morbius in the theater anymore. Pennywise is pretty huge. Left side Pennywise, right side Joker. Run them up. I mean, I know who I, I, I bet on prodigious size alone, you know? Ex excuse me, control Z that? Okay, start me up. A battle of the Titans. I gotta admit, there's a lot more like punching than I thought. Oh! Uh, that was unexpected. So, I think he zapped him with his lightning cannon and turned him into a bunch of bones. Holy cow. He really is. He's sick and twisted. Joker wins. And then, 
How I would love to be able to like left click and just delete you completely. Like, how do I delete a, an entire unit? Oh, right click on it. <laughs> like I did before. Put me back on team one. You got to do another classic, of course. Batman versus Joker. Now, Batman is freaking huge. He's holding a batarang and what appears to me to be a harpoon, perhaps. This is definitely Batman from the Dark Knight. He also has a couple Infinity Stones, so be aware of that. On the other hand, I have knocked him over with my camera, just to give you an idea of, of his level of strength. Okay, which side will win the fight? Don't worry, I'm going to replace Batman so that he turns around. Seems like a fair fight. It's causing the game to, to lag a little bit. No doubt about that. Something in the way. So true. Here we go. Send it. He's hitting them with the harpoon. I mean, if you let Joker get close to you with that lightning cannon, like it's all over, man. What are you going to do with a harpoon from this far away? He turned Batman into just a guy. I can tell you why it's lagging. It's because, like, every... In order to make a custom character, like, every single uh, piece that you see is, like, individually rendered, and I think it also has physics attached to it. They're made out of just, like, thousands of individual pieces of armor blocks. Now, what if you added Ronald McDonald to the team here? Ronald McDonald, of course, as we all recall. He's about 17 feet tall. He's got bone spikes on his shoulders. Um, raptor claws and then, I don't know, two hands just like nailed to his forearms for some reason. I think it might break the game, but we're going to try it anyway. I mean, I, you might think that just because he's big, he's going to win for sure. How do you bet against the lightning cannon, knowing what you've, you've seen so far? He costs $2,000. Well, you know what? That's a valid point. Start me up. Oh, he can use his bone claws to shoot bones through the earth. That was unexpected. He just lariated the Joker uh, across the map where he is now T-posing. His, uh, his lightning cannon can do no damage at this range. But Joker's still alive, man. Despite taking dozens of bone spikes straight to the face. Okay, he has reduced him to atoms by tossing him from the arena. He will be falling forever. Holy shit. And now he's taking Batman home with him. Okay. So I think um, we'll go left side on that one. Now hear me out. Delete. No, we can't have two of them. My room will go up like 10 degrees. Please get deleted. Oh my god. Okay. We get rid of Batman. We get rid of Joker. We go to team two, and we have Ronald McDonald fight maybe like an aircraft carrier modeled at 50% of his normal size. Still really big. How about an aircraft carrier modeled at... Wrong team, wrong team. How about an aircraft carrier model that 20% of his normal size, which apparently is the smallest we can go, is still pretty large. Which side will win the fight? 
it didn't change. I think it's just that it's so big. It did change, but you didn't notice. You know what? That's true. We could scale Ronald up if this doesn't work. I don't know what's going to happen, by the way. Like, I don't know if the aircraft carrier... Like, if I had to guess... Like, if I... If I oh, what have I done? If I had to guess... It appears that, you know, it has some machine guns on the side of it. I don't know what that is. Uh, what's going on on the, on the top of it here? Just decorative armor blocks, maybe? I mean, it, it does, uh, as far as I can tell, it doesn't appear to have any planes that are going to, like, scramble when this starts. But... I do think that maybe it will be able to rotate and hit him with the full force of a broadside blast. But if, if he picks it up and throws it out of the map, I'm going to lose my mind, man. Okay, here we go. Please, my PC. I don't know. It doesn't look good for Ronald. He's being hit with like, a, you know, a hundred knots of pure nuclear-powered U.S. Navy technology simultaneously right here. I think he's getting he's getting ringed out. Wait a minute, he's back up. He's standing. Pick it up. Ronald, pick it up. Do not scale Ronald up. I do as I please. Bro. At least try. He's not doing anything. I don't think anybody can hit anything here. I guess I should check and make sure, like, Ronald McDonald isn't rendered as invincible in the game. I don't think he's going down. Oh, whoa, 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 he got a little closer. Holy... He's grabbing the... Go okay, he's dead. No, he's not dead. He used a bone spear. <laughs> he, he managed to get an attack out. The aircraft carrier is spinning out of control. It's falling off the edge of the earth. I think he did it, man. Oh! Holy cow. Okay. Uh... Ronald McDonald is just unkillable. There's there's no way. What about Ronald McDonald versus Ronald McDonald? Dude, honestly, I don't know if this Steam Workshop's like the way to go, man. <laughs> kind of feel like I was doing okay just on my own on my own wave. This shit's getting ridiculous. New map. We've gone too far. Please, Freddy Fazbear versus that boy. Joker versus 60 hippos. Come on. I think there's always something that everybody wants to know, right? And that's one American military infantryman at a distance, like a, a considerable distance. Zoom me in, zoom me in, zoom me in. Let me just see what this guy's outfitted with, okay? Helmet, tack vest, standard issue M16 with an undermounted grenade launcher, and loafers. Okay. One U.S. military personnel. Let's start simple, okay? At a distance, five Roman legionaries. Legionaries? Five members of the Roman legion. It's an interesting bet, right? Let's, let's take a look at what we got here. They have... Um, maybe those are Pila. They can't create a phalanx, but they do have some shields. 
I would say personally, maybe it's about a 100 yard distance. Start prediction. Which side will win the fight? Left side or right side? Rome, sweet Rome, bat chest? Whatever happened to that movie? Reddit's biggest success story. Are you taking control of the soldier? I'll take control of the soldier if the soldier loses. And I'll show him how it's done. Start me up. I'm ready. Why are you moving towards them? All right. He died instantly. We'll pay out the right side on that one. <laughs> now. I'm in, baby. I've called in an airstrike. Holy cow. Run, dude. Yo, this gun is actually kind of ass. Keep going. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I think one of them died in a stampede. Okay. This... That's just ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's the worst gun I've ever seen in my life. We gotta put on something more reasonable than that. What what is Rocky? Can I just give you a go? What kind of FPS weapons you got here? That was a rifle, right? That was so bad. It's like a little BB gun. I couldn't even give him a pulse blaster. That's not fair. It looks different from the rifle. You think? I think he would have been better off with a puncher. I mean, this is like a classic battle, right? This is what people want to see. A Teutonic Knight versus a single Spartan warrior. Holy cow. What a battle. No chance. Oh, they're on the same team. So true, so true. No shot, no shot. It's deadliest warrior. Start prediction. Do 5v5. We'll see. Now, who do I bet on here? I mean, this is a gimme for me. You bet on the Teutonic Knight, man. He's got a, a two-handed claymore. He's got an incredible helmet. He's got ring mail. He's got armored boots. Versus a, a sharp poking weapon. This guy doesn't even have sleeves on. I'm 100% like all in on, on the Teutonic Knight here. This is ring mail? What do you mean? It's not, that's not ring chain mail. Whatever. It's the same shit. Get started. It's huge. Are you seeing this? Oh, oh, that was so close. Okay, well, right side wins. Turns out the shield is pretty good. Now, now hear me out. This is where you get a little sneaky with it. Three Teutonic Knights versus two Spartan Warriors. Ooh, sweeten the deal here. They're on the same team. That's pretty true. You know what? That's pretty true. There you go. Saved. And we run it. I'm still going to Tonic Knights. There's no doubt about it. I would like to change my bet to the Spartans. One of them lost their shield, though. You gotta focus the... Okay. Um, two Spartans. 
And one of them even managed to live. How about that? Shields are OP. Now, three Teutonic Knights against two Spartans. But the Spartans are one standard deviation smaller than the average adult man. They're on the same team. Okay, that, that's pretty true. Three Teutonic Knights versus two Spartans, but the Spartans are short kings. People are all in on the right side. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Ninja Zombie, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. The Teutonic Knights win. We love to see that. Thank you again, Ninja Zombie, by the way. Man, the bets go so fast. Short Kings lost. Okay. Hear me out here, though. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Roman legionnaires against an Achilles at half height, who is on the same team right now. Achilles going bowling, dude. Oh. You got to go left side here. I mean, Achilles is 160, 10 Legionnaires, only 100. But we have made Achilles 50% of his normal, of his normal height. <laughs> I don't know if that even scales their strength or anything. That's true. The smaller he is, maybe the, the harder it is to hit his heel. Holy cow. Are you seeing this man's hammies? Look at his calves. Jesus Christ. He's built like Lance Armstrong. Look at his hands. All right. Start, start me up. Oh, my God. Uh, he got his head cut off in about a second. I'm going to pay out right side, but... I want to see that again, because it went by so fast. So he threw his shield and killed one. I mean, I got to admit, he put on a, he's putting on a much better fight this time. What the hell? Oh, sorry, left side. Yeah, left side. Sorry, left side. Not right side. We pay the left side. Best of seven. I he did pretty well on that one. Now, you want to go insane mode? What about an Achilles that's five times larger than normal on team two? We don't need to delete them. Versus 100 Roman legions. He fell? Don't worry, I'll put him back. I'll, I'll, I'll put him back up. Don't let that affect your bets, please. 100 Roman legions. Okay, you stand up. Team 2, 5x Achilles. <laughs> I think. Um, maybe if we start the battle fast enough, maybe he won't fall over. I mean, you know, you know what we're looking for here. I'm just going to start the prediction. He's just a little sleepy. Isn't there? There's chairs, right? Decorations. 
blocks. You could put a big block behind him or something. Static block for Achilles. Can we get a static block for Achilles real quick? There you go. That should do it. It looks like me on my foam roller. All right. See, there you go. He's okay. All right. Start me up. He's dead. We'll go left side on that one. He didn't really get a clean start. In fact, he kind of had a lean start. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I don't think Achilles is the way. Boo, boo. What the heck is a knockout artist gorilla? Why do they call you a knockout artist? Do I want to know? I mean, we're, he's on the wrong team. Son of a bitch. Please, please. Okay, it's simple. By the way, I don't think scaling them changes their stats. It just makes it funnier. They're all on the same team. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, team two. You can scale their stats on the bottom left. Yeah, but I don't know. I guess, do I want them to be five times stronger? Or do I just want them to be five times bigger? What if we have 100 Roman legionnaires versus four Goros the Giant that start back to back? How do you feel about this? Start prediction. Which side will win the fight? That's not Goro? That's Goro. Don't even worry about it. That's Goro. He just looks exactly the same as the... Never mind. That was not Goro. That's my mistake. We're, we're, it's all right. We're going to get him to lean anyway. Okay, you were right. That's not Goro. Okay, 5x... You know what? End submissions. We're going to delete this bet. Given the, the prodigious size of Goro the Giant at 5x, I think I need to give you the chance to, to run it back. <laughs> As an added bonus, he doesn't even fall over. Okay. Now, they're, they're equivalent cost. The teams are equivalent cost. A thousand versus a thousand. I mean, I don't even know if I like the legions versus one Goro the Giant, but you got to remember, they're four units with default stats. Just because they're five times bigger doesn't mean they're five times stronger. Start me up. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. So we've already lost two Goros. We've already lost three Goros. It's actually sad. The other one's just scared. He fell over. He's falling off the map. He gave up. Um, okay, well, that's the left side. That's so sad, man. I was here to see violence, not sadness. Okay. Whoops. Undo that, please. Let's, um, you know what? Actually, let's take them all out. What about four Goros? Don't fall down, please. Wait. Four Goros... Wrong team as well. Son of a bitch. Four Goros. They're five times bigger. 
they have five times more attack. They have five times more HP. Now we're talking. Never bet against Rome. They do seem to work every time. I mean, they, they conquered most of the known world when they were around, right? They were doing great, uh, well, I was not going to say great work. I'm sure there was a lot of, there were a lot of problems. <laughs> but their military was very successful. Send it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! You better get those spears out there. What are they doing? What the hell are they doing? There's still one left. Give him a chance. Give him a chance, man. Scammed. Scammed. I have to refund that. I'm sorry to do it to the people who bet left side. I think that that, that bet was based on false pre pretenses. Like, that was just... I can't scale them. Animal scaling is not recommended. There you go. Now we have four Goro the Giants, okay? They're on team one. If you're so confident, run the bet back. Four Goros the Giants, team one, not scaled. If you want to re-up, go ahead. If you want to learn from your mistakes, go ahead. Build a wall so they can't fall off the map? I mean, they're just going to... If they get to the wall, they're just going to get pushed up against it. Like Michael Scott in prison. You really think I won't push you up against the wall? Okay, here we go. Let's see. Can they do something now? They're actually trying to attack. That's a new one. The Goros have, have made great progress. It was the scaling the whole time. You're right. I mean, it's not even close. Yo, Goro the Giant? Kind of strong, huh? Refund, refund. They had 5x stats. Okay, you know what? That one might have been based on false pretenses, too. We're going to refund. Now we're going to do the... Believers got refunded on, on both sides now. Now you've seen what the battle could look like. We're going to run four metallic Goros at base stats. But this, they're on the same team. Okay. Okay. Four metallic Goros base stats. Choose wisely, bet appropriately. This one is for real. No refunds under any circumstances unless like the game crashes. Three, two, one, go. I don't know, man. It's close. We've lost one Goro. We've lost two Goros. But they're still kind of going off. We've lost three Goros. The last one is spinning, though. He's doing his best. He's still cruising, man. I don't think they can get him. He's taking out the trash. Send them. I'm rooting for Goro. There's no secret there. What the hell? He's the strongest creature that's ever... Oh, he's a clutch king. <laughs> okay, we'll pay out left side. Well, that's been... 
totally accurate. I mean, Animal Royale Battle Simulator um, is fun. It's a little goofy, but it's fun. I had a good time. It's a great casino facilitator. Let me throw in a slash marker. I'm going to go to the bathroom.